Well, fans and Stratomatic fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am going to do a game from Baseball Max. Yes, I did buy the game. I got the one-year subscription, $200, and we'll see how it works out for me. <laughs> but one of the features of the game that I really do like and I think is very interesting is the 2024 season play today's games. It gives you the schedule of today's games. It gives you even the starting pitchers or the expected starting pitchers for each team. And it gives you, I believe it, it very likely gives you the like, likeliest lineup for the teams. Now, I mean, last minute things can happen. Uh, somebody could be brought up from the minors that, you know, they didn't uh, anticipate, you know, something like that. But in general, the lineups are about what the lineups would be, and the pitchers are about what the pitchers uh, are expected to be for that game. And I think this is a very cool feature. In fact, this is one of the reasons I decided to keep the game, to uh, keep the subscription, at least for this year, uh, because... I think it's interesting to be able to see the updated cards uh, for the game that you're playing of every one of the players and see what those cards might look like. And uh, that feature will come in handy at the end of the season when I play some games and I get to look at some of the cards of the guys that are on some of my teams in the Stratomatic League. Now, you know, they're not going to be the exact same card. The card is not going to look exactly the same, but you could probably guess that the card is going to be somewhat relevant. The one that's that they have in the game is going to be relevant to the one that they probably are going to end up producing. Um, when you're like at the last game of the season or something. So I think that that's a really cool feature of it. Now, I want to I wanna, uh, give you a caveat here. I've already done five, uh, attempted to play five versions of a, to, of a today game. And three of them froze up. And I was not able to finish them. One of them from my mobile device. Uh, but two of them I was able to finish. So I don't know. I don't know if it was something maybe that I did wrong. Um, but uh, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Um, if this one freezes up. I'm hoping it doesn't. But like I said, I have had two successful Today games played. Now you can see I got an Orioles jersey on. And the reason for that is we are going to do... Now you see I clicked on the Today game. And... You say, play new game, and now you can see we have today's schedule. Now, another cool feature, I guess it's a cool feature, is uh, when you sign up for this, you put in what your favorite team is, and I told them my favorite team is the White Sox. So whenever I play a today game, it will recommend the Chicago White Sox game, and it will make me the manager of the White Sox. But we're not going to do that, because the White Sox are horrible. And I don't want to play the White Sox against the Astros. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the Baltimore game. So uh, this is going to be uh, on the mound. It's going to be Irvin versus Gill. I'm going to call him Gill. For some reason, everybody calls him Gill or some crap like that. I'm going to use the English pronunciation, though. We're going to go with Gill. Um, and I'm going to make myself Baltimore. So we're playing in New York. Now, as a uh, an interesting side note here, these two teams play again uh, like the second week in July, and I am going to one of the games. But I digress. We are going to play this game and hope that we can get through it. Now, uh, you know, everything is over here. It's the June 20th game. These, uh, By the way, I want to say that this is the June 20th game. So by the time you're seeing this, it's uh, Friday the 21st, and uh, the game has already been played. But I am playing it on the 20th prior to the game being played. So you can check back and see what happens, although really... I mean, I can bring any pitcher in. I can bring any pinch hitter in. 
and uh, you know Brandon Hyde might have other ideas. So uh, we will go on with the game and hopefully we can get through it. Because like I said, this is, this is one of the things that sets it aside from the computer game and makes it something that's better than... Um, uh, so yeah, here we go. Here is the Baltimore lineup. It'll be uh, Gunnar Henderson, Adley Rushman, Ryan Mountcastle, Ryan O'Hearn, Anthony Santander, Westberg, Cedric Mullins, um, Austin Hayes, and uh, um, Ramon Urias at uh, third base. And Urban on the mound. So we will go with that. As you can see right here, I guess this is uh, going up against Gill. He has a 203 earned run average and an 098 whip. And Irvin has a 303 earned run average and a 124 whip. So we're going to play this bad boy out and see what happens. And you can compare the results to the actual game. You can go back and look and see what happened. How close was it? So um, the lineup for the Yankees will be Volpe and then Juan Soto and then Aaron. Here comes the judge. Then Stanton. Verdugo, Torres, LeMahieu, Trevino, and then Cabrera. So with all of that having been said, let's get underway with this game. The ump says play ball, and uh, Gunnar Henderson is the first guy to bat. Now, I don't know, like the last time maybe I tried to click on swing away before it was red and it was ready for me, you know, in the games that froze up. I don't know if that was the problem. I don't know what the issue was. So here we go. We're going to have at least a double by Gunnar Henderson, and it is going to be a double. So he pulls into second, and so you can see this is not red yet. It's not ready. Now it's ready for me. So I don't know if I hit it too early and that made it freeze up. Uh, I think it happened when someone was trying to get picked off or, you know, whatever. There was like a steal attempt or somebody going for an extra base. It, it tends to happen after that. So hopefully it doesn't happen here and we get through this game. Uh, this is Rushman, and Rushman is not in his good column, and it's only a single one to three. But it is a single. So Rushman does get a hit, and Gill is in trouble. Gil, Giel, whatever his name is, he's in trouble. And so you can see um, I am going to hold all runners because there's no outs. So we're going to have runners at first and third. And it's still moving, so yeah. All right. And, yeah, let me, uh, I don't know, let me try to move myself a little bit off to the side here. So now um, Ryan Mountcastle is up with runners at first and third with nobody out, and he strikes out. So there's one down for the Orioles with the runners still at first and third, and Ryan O'Hearn is the batter. And O'Hearn is going to strike out. So you see what I'm saying? Like, like right here, we can get a look at, like, this is what Gill's card looks like right now, based on what he's doing right now against left-handed uh, batters. So if you play this game, like, at the end of the year, not saying that the card would look exactly like this, but it would probably look something like this. So anyway, we are going to uh, swing away with Santander. There's two outs now with the runners at the corners. And we're going to get a fly ball, and the Orioles fail to score a run. And that means New York is up. So you've got uh, Cole Irvin pitching against Anthony Volpe. And Volpe will step in and what do we got what do we got we got a ground ball to the pitcher does Irvin make the play he does the next batter is Juan Soto 
And so, you know, and the same thing. You this you can probably guess that this is something like what Ron Juan Soto's card would look like against left-handed pitching if he maintained the same relative statistics. Uh, Judge is up after the walk, and so you, the Yankees have a man aboard with one out, and the Judge coming up. I want to stay out of that one column, and that's going to be a fly to right, and that is going to be a fly out. So there's two down, um, and a man at first base, which is, I believe, Soto, and we've got Stanton up at the plate. And that's going to be a fly to center. So the Yankees come away scoring nothing in the first. And now Baltimore's back up. Jordan Westberg is facing Gill right here. And that's going to be a sing. No, it's not probably going to be a single. It isn't. So he's out. That was a ballpark single. And he didn't hit it. Cedric Mullins. Cedric? Cedric? Cedric Mullins strikes out. So, two away for Austin Hayes. And that's going to be a strikeout. And New York is back up the plate. Uh, Verdugo is the batter. Luckily, we've gotten past their big mashers. And he's going to ground out to shortstop for the first out of the second inning for New York. And uh, that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And that's not a great column for him. It's going to be a fly out to center field. And there's two down. And that brings to the plate... The DJ LeMayhew. And that's his good column, but it's his good column, but it's the bad result in the good column, and he's out. And so Baltimore comes up. We are in a 0 0 game in the top of the third between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees of 2024, of this very season that we are in. And what do we got here? We got a strikeout. To Ramon Urias down on K's. That takes us back to the top of the order. And Gunnar Henderson. And Gunnar Henderson could have a home run and give the Orioles their first run of the game, but he doesn't. He hits a double instead, and he'll be standing at second base with one down. And Adley Rushman, the switch hitting catcher, is at the plate. And that's going to be a fly ball B to left field. So there is uh, two down now and uh, a man at second and Mountcastle is the batter. And he's not in his good column and he grounds out. So the Orioles failed to score despite getting a man to second base with only one out. And that brings up Jose Trevino to bat against Cole Irvin. And that's going to be a fly ball to right field. One down. Osvaldo Cabrera is the batter. He's got a one column and basically nothing else. He pops out to shortstop. And that's going to be two down. And now you are talking about Anthony Volpe back to the start of the New York lineup. And he is going to strike out. And I like also you got a little feature up here. I mean, you you this is in the computer game too basically, but you can see that he's on 37 pitches Gill is on 37 of 100 pitches before he starts to tire or get in the situation where he could start to tire. Um Ryan O'Hearn is the batter. And that is going to be a single. Nice. Came up with that single one to four. So he's at first base with nobody out. And Santander is up. And 
And uh, let's. Did they bring in a. Well, I don't know what happened there, but anyway, we're going to swing away with Santander. And he's going to walk. So the Orioles got their first two guys on at first and second with nobody out. And Jordan Westberg is the batter. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop B. Bringing up Cedric Mullins with runners at the corners and only one down. He just needs to put it into play. Let's put it into play. Ah, it's going to be a line out to first base. And so that brings up Austin Hayes. It's all up to Austin Hayes to try to knock one run in here. And that's not the column to do it in. He's going to fly out to center, and the Orioles come away with no runs. And we go to the bottom of the fourth with Juan Soto. Up at the plate, you definitely want this on the pitcher card if you can, if you can help it. Single one to three, let's see if they come up with it. They don't. It's a line out. One down, and that brings up Aaron. Here comes the judge. And he is going to fly out to right field X, and it is a fly out. So Stanton is um, up at the plate with two down, and let's see what happens with him. He's in the right column, and he has a home run 1-11. to 11. Is he going to hit it? No, but is it going to be a rob the home run situation? Hold on to the outfielder actually catch it. Home run one to three. So it's not much of a chance it'll be robbed. It's not much of a chance it would be a home run. It would be robbed than it was. So Baltimore is back at the plate. And, um, yeah, we have... Um, we have Ramon Urias up at the plate here in the top of the fifth inning against Luis Gill. Double one to two or a fly out. And that's going to be an out. Which brings up the gunner, Gunner Henderson. And he's going to be out there, looks like. Fly ball to left field. Two down, and the catcher, Adley Rushman, is the batter. And he is going to... What is he going to get? Is it going to be a double? Is it going to be a single? It's a single. So he gets a single. He's at first base, but there's two down. And the Yankees haven't been able to really do much against Gill. And um, so now you can see he's not quite as good, it looks like, maybe, against right-handed batters. Uh, so Mountcastle is going to bat, and uh, we'll see what happens. But that's a strikeout. So New York is going to be at bat. We're in a 0-0 game. And in fact, um, Cole Irvin is no-hitting the Yankees, which is really crazy. I just noticed that. Uh, but that's going to end right here. And it is going to be a single. A single for Verdugo. So Verdugo is up at, is at first base with Glaber Torres up. I'm not even going to watch Verdugo. I'm not going to get into that. Um, I mean, it's enough. I'm still learning the game. But there's a walk. So the Yankees have the first two guys aboard with DJ LeMahieu up at the plate and nobody out. And what's going on here? That's going to be a strikeout. So there is one down. Jose Trevino. The Yankees are hitting the terrible part of the lineup to try to drive a guy in. But not really, because that's a home run by Jose Trevino. And the Yankees just dropped a three spot on Irvin, who was cruising with a no-hitter up until this inning. And that is going to be a possible home run. Let's see if it is. It is a home run for uh, for Osvaldo Cabrera of all people, and so it is for nothing, 
and Volpe back to the top of the Yankees lineup with Volpe. So it's only going to get worse from here on out for a little while for a Cole Irvin. But there's a ground out. That is two down and Juan Soto up. And Soto is going to ground it out to second. So the Yankees are out of that inning, but um, or the Orioles get out of the inning, but they get out of the inning after giving up four runs. So they're going to have, they've got some work ahead of them here against Gill, and uh, Ryan O'Hearn is the batter. And that's going to be a ground out, so there's one down. Like I said, I really love this feature of the game. This, I mean, this alone makes it worth getting for me. That's going to be a pop out to first base. So like when my draft comes up, I can draft a guy and, and people like some kind of nondescript guy and people will be like, what are you doing drafting that guy? And I'll be like, yeah, you just wait. So anyway, ground ball third base. And uh, that is going to be, that's it. And so New York is now up in the bottom of the six with a 4 nothing lead and the judge coming up. Let's see what kind of a judgment the judge gives. That's going to be a fly to center, and it is an out. The Orioles generally have a good defense, so I wouldn't expect a lot of errors by them. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate, and he's going to rip a double. So he'll be standing at second with one down, and Verdugo is the batter. And Verdugo is going to hit a probably a double, and it is a double, and it drives in Stanton. So they have another run. The Yankees are now out to a five nothing lead, and uh, up to the plate comes Glaber Torres with only one down, and he walks only like three decent things in that column, and he got one of them. So runners are at first and second with one away and DJ LeMayhew up. Cole Irvin not doing a real good job now. Ground ball second base C. Should move runners to second and third and it does. Um, and he is at 94 of 92. So I'm going to just see if he can get out of this inning and then we'll bring in a reliever. Next inning. That's going to be a ground out to second and it's an error by the second baseman. He did not need that. So Cabrera is the batter, and the Yankees now have a 6 nothing lead. And that's going to be a ground out to shortstop. So he finally gets out of it, but not before allowing two more runs. And the Yankees up by the score of 6 nothing. And uh, we will swing away with Mullins. Here in the top of the seventh, the Orioles trying to, well, I mean, it's they're down 6 nothing. Gill has just been pitching lights out. So I don't like their chances. But there is a single right there for Mullins. Now, he's a stealing double A. So I will try to steal a base. Let's see what it tells me. I'm going to attempt the steal. He's attempting to steal. Catcher makes the throw. 1 to 12, he's safe. And he is safe. So Mullen steals second. Ooh, possible throwing error on the catcher. But there is no error. So he'll stay at second. And now we have Austin Hayes up at the plate after the stolen base. So let's see if we can get the Orioles at least a run or two, make this look a little bit more competitive. That's going to be a fly out to right. Um, I'm going to try to advance to third. It's an 85% chance. I like those odds. We're trying to get the Orioles a run here. And it doesn't work, unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm no Brandon Hyde, that's for sure. All right. Um, and so... Um, we have two down. Wait a minute. One out? One out? Are we up? Yeah, we're, we're still up. That's one out. Ah, man. That was the first out. I made the first out at third. That's the, uh, violated the golden rule. 
So that's going to be a ground out. Gunnar Henderson's out, and there's two down here in the seventh with... Oh, I guess Gunnar Henderson is up. And he's going to strike out. So no runs for the Orioles. We go to the bottom of the seventh. New York is batting here in the bottom of the seventh inning, and I am going to make the pitching change. So uh, let's see what we do. We go down here. We go to substitutions. You go up here to Irvin. Now here's something I had to learn from trial and error. You see how replace is grayed out? You can't click on the player's name. You have to click on his stats to bring him in. I don't know why it's stupid. You should be able to click on the name or the stats or whatever to bring in whoever you want to bring in. I'm going to bring in Brian Baker. Now, Baker doesn't have an ERA yet because he hasn't pitched. This is He probably was just brought up. So we're going to see what Brian Baker looks like. I guess they're basing his card a little bit off of what he did last year because that would be all they have to go on. Because this is a terrible card for a guy with a zero ERA. So there's a ground ball to the shortstop X and he is out. And uh, that brings up Juan Soto. And that's a good column to be in for Baker. And it's a strikeout. And there is two down. And that brings up Aaron. Here comes the judge. And he's going to strike out. So we're going to the bottom of the eighth. We're almost through this game. So hopefully it doesn't freeze up like... Like, my mobile game froze up literally, like, I think, in the top of the ninth. So, anyway. Uh, that was a ground out. And, by the way, you'll notice up here, and somebody pointed this out, that it keeps track. See, it keeps track of the balls and strikes. I'm going to cover that up because it doesn't really matter. And as the person who commented said, it doesn't really matter. It is, it's going to be what it's going to be. So, it doesn't matter what the balls and strikes really are. I am going to uh, swing away with Mount Castle here in the top of the eighth. And that's going to be a strikeout. So there is two down, and Ryan O'Hearn is up. And Gill is still out there. You can notice he's at 108 of 100, though. So he is starting to, he would be in tired range. And, um,. Uh, Stanton is back, is up now. The Yankees are up, and Baker I'm going to keep on the mound. He is on pitch 12 of 23, potentially, and there's a strikeout. And uh, he should be able to finish this out, I would think, uh, unless we get six runs, which I don't see happening, especially if they keep Gill in, but we'll see what they do. That's going to be an out. And uh, Alex Verdugo is up. Someone also made the comment that it does everything slowly, and it does. It, this is kind of slow. You have to wait. You have to really wait for that bar to ungray and to become red so that you can do the next thing. Uh, so that is a... Um, that was a base hit. That was a double and uh, LeMayhew is the batter. And that's going to be a walk, so Baker is now in trouble here. Trevino is up. Trevino has a home run this game already. Um, two runners on, two men out. And that's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. So, they are bringing on a new pitcher. Anthony Santander is going to face Ron Marinaccio. So, yeah, Gill was, I mean, he was, I mean, obviously, in today's game, you're going to see the pitcher gone, starting pitcher gone by then. That's going to be an out. So, there is one down. And 
And yeah, I mean, it does. It takes a long time for the next. Uh, it, it seems like it takes forever for the next guy to come up to the plate. And that's going to be a ballpark homer, 1 to 11. And it's an out, but let's see if he robs it. Can he rob it? Is the guy going to rob it? Or is that even a possibility? Yes, it is. And it is a great catch. He robs the home run from Westberg. And so Cedric Mullins, it's down to Cedric Mullins. Two outs in the ninth with the Orioles losing six Zippolo. And uh, this could be a hit. And it is. It is. They stay alive. Barely. By the skin of their butts, they stay alive. And the next guy is going to come up, and that's Austin Hayes. Just prolonging this. Every time you prolong it, you run the risk of, of the game maybe freezing up. Really, I don't know. I don't know if I did something wrong. But anyway, that is it. New York won. Let's look at the box score. So I'll let you guys just take a quick look at the box score to see um, whatever it is you want to see from it. Um, really not much I want to see from it. But anyway, uh, it, was, it was a bad game for the, for the uh, Orioles. And, um, I mean, what else is there to say? The Orioles lose. So we did get through the game, and that is a nice thing. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.